Frosty. He's been going every single tournament, yeah. every single weekly, except for Frosty Costing. Yeah. And Yeti hasn't dropped a tournament in his Smash Three, Ultimate career. Two, it's like a 15 or 16 go. tournament streak. It's a lot. And that includes tournaments where Larry Lurg was in attendance, hypertension yeah. in Nebraska. And huge win, and he won that in winner's side. So Yeti with a very uh, impressive resume so far in Smash Ultimate. Wait, is the bucket already full? I don't know if it's full, but I think it was two. I'm not 100% sure. Meister playing the ultimate counter projectile character. And if he can fill the bucket on pellets. Yeah. I don't know how much that's going to do. Is that going to kill? No. Okay, it, it did like <laughs> oh, no nothing. Way. It did like 20%. And no knockback when you fell it off the pellets. Yeah, I'm like, there's, there's no way that, that kills. So, I mean... I guess go for a percent. For the Smash scientists in all of you, now you know. This definitely seems like uh, it could be an annoying matchup for Mega Man. Yeah, I mean, any character who just relies on their zone into it. This is a, a, a character very oh, well suited wow. to take him away, but yet he don't care. Hit him with a big meaty down air. Trying to get up with that leaf shield? No, not gonna work out. Oh, I like that. If Bucket works on the up air, that's actually pretty scary for the, the... I think it just reflects. That's also scary. Yeah. It doesn't matter how it works, it's scary. Like, because if you get that knockback in your bucket, that's bad. If you get it reflected right back at you, you just lose pressure. This is going to be a big test here for Yeti, just due to the way how the neutral interactions work between these two characters. Wow. Still does absolutely zero knockback, but you know what? Damage is damage is damage. And the thing is, too, like, you want to keep doing that if you're Meister, because you want to stop Yeti from doing pellets, right? That's important. Yes. You need, you need to disincentivize just your natural neutral interaction. And due to the reward you can get off a of pellet in this game, it makes sense, but okay. That will actually get a decent, huh? <laughs> Down smash is straight killing off the top. Yeah. But okay. caught him with the back air. That's a Mega Man classic. Mm -hmm. Okay, getting the double up there. Another Mega Man classic is using that rush. Okay. Okay, I was, I, was I love how it covers him in oil. <laughs> That's a really nice touch, actually. Yeah, it is. A lot, there's a lot of small aesthetic things that, that we're adding in this game that I, I really appreciate. Wait, you can you can forward air without throwing the. You see that? I'm not at all. Game and Watch forward air to drop the bomb while holding the metal blade. He didn't throw the metal blade instead forward. He just did a forward air. Maybe he caught it in the center. I don't know. See. That's really weird. Ready. Get something going. Uh, with a percent disadvantage, but Game Watch is really light. I'm sure you would probably kill, like, maybe now. Yeah, sure you now. <laughs> sure you would have killed probably 15% ago. A back air is pretty close to killing. Oh, the Leaf Shield saving Yeti just by the skin of his teeth. Uh oh. And that'll Ooh. take it. Air dodging straight into him. Yeah. <clears throat> Meister getting game one. The air dodge kind of sealed his fate right there. The reign of terror from Mr. Game Watch continues into Yeti. And I, I'm curious to see what game, you know, Yeti's gameplay adaptations are going to be because even though like he was able to find some stocks, he's able to find some like ledge trap situations. It still just feels like his tried and true gameplay is being stymied. Yeah. I'm curious to see how this works out in game two. Yeah. yeah and he's he, definitely not going to go Snake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Snake game was <laughs> apparently like really, really One, bad. That match really Because you can bucket grenade bit, yeah. and then you just die to grenade or you die to bucket. So. All right. Good music pick. I'm here for it. Got some accordion up in here. <laughs> yeah, all Pokemon music is good, dude. This is the best one. If you ask me. Pretty good. Violin, accordion, count me in, dude. Yeah, I'm so sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 
getting started. Uh, Yeti looking better. I, I think he was looking for yeah. footstool. Or the, the infinite. He didn't need an infinite. He just needed, I think, one link of it, and it would have. Uh... Oh! Oh wow! Calm down, everyone. Yeah, he, he was going for it all. The back air. Let's see another one. One link of the infinite will just lead to show you can at this point. He doesn't need to like do a long string. All right, slowing things down. I'm trying to bait the uh, the bucket a little bit more. That might just kill Game of Watch. Wow. Yes. Yeah, kill the top, the yeah. softest kill. <laughs> Every time. It looks so silly. Yeah, it looks so far. It's looking like yeah, he might have made that adaption, like you're saying. Yeah, taking away landing key with up airs, and he's just he's just spacing way better. Like the up yeah, the up airs have been uh, stopping that that high approach option. Yeah, it's gonna be a re grab. Yeah. yeah. No, it was just a matter of time before he died. I'm trying to mix up the timing, I think, with the air dodge as well, using that invulnerability to maybe bait Maester and then throw him that down smash too early, but Maester's a pro, he's not gonna let that slip. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Wow. That is an option. Yeah. Dragon Ball is actually not bad in this game. Alright, two quick hits of the bucket. And the bucket will really help close this gap, even if it's just full of pellets. Man. Just being disruptive. Metal Blade is just an ultimate disruption tool. Oh, wow, nice man. double tomahawk. Yeah. Okay. Nice little uh, percent lead right here. Pretty close to kill percent. Well, this is kill percent for Game of Watch, but. I think Pizza Pie might have killed? Does that still kill? I don't think it would have killed there, but it, it definitely would have. We'll rage. Yeah, I think it would have killed, like, maybe, yeah, 150. A lot of Mis or, uh, sorry, Minnesotans in the crowd here today rooting for their boy Yeti. Of course. That move just does not insane damage and just shield pressures by itself. Yeah. Leaf shield is crazy. Yeah, Look leaf at shield it. is actually dope. <laughs> I like yeah. it, actually. <laughs> and he B reverses it just for free, 12%. And there's an adaptation. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, we've the seen Meister try to trampoline out of pellets into Leaf Shield. Okay. And so he just went for Dare. He went for pellets into Dare to try and eat up the trampoline. Okay. I thought you were referring to, uh, like, the wall jump metal blade when Meister was trying to dash attack the guest. Uh, dash attack is upbeat. And okay. controlling his Lead Trap game, though, is Yeti. It definitely... Yeah, it's a lot of adaptations so far. Uh, Meister on his last stock. Pretty much anything can kill him right, right here. Forward air kills for some reason, remember that. <laughs> That's still weird. I think it's hilarious. But it's like his safest kill option, yeah, and there you so, go. It's so safe. It's so safe. You can mix, just, up, mix up the fastball timing, and yeah. you can actually just hit it. <laughs> yeah. There was nothing you could do, because Game of Watch got closed the gap somehow, and just Bait back fair on Kalos, where you have infinite room to back up. Yeah. No choice. Yeah, so great stuff from Yeti right there. We're seeing the adaptation. He answered my question. Unstoppable force. <laughs> Immovable object. One of them has got to give. Yeah. Or so the, uh, the tail says. Well, I mean, we're going to see it. <laughs> it's going to happen. We can't just like get to game five here. and then just like, you know what, split. <laughs> And just leave. Someone's gotta win. Sticking right, so. with the game of watch. Yeah, I'll be surprised to see that these guys switch. Three, going back to Pokemon Stadium. One, go! Easiest 34% of your life. That does so much. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know Panda Global Devin B. Jash, he is the, the greatest cat caller in the history of cat callers when it comes to yelling at his own during a tournament. And he's uh, he, 
He's yipping and yapping here for his boy Yeti, and Yeti is uh, obliging with some easy leaf shield combo. <laughs> That's it. Still the lead. These up airs are doing so much work. If that had comboed into oh. another up air, I would have lost it. I thought he was gonna just straight up up tilt him right there. That's the thing, what? like. <laughs> yeah, huh? down, that's just gonna kill. And trading with the, uh, the Metal Blade, too. But, uh, yeah, I feel like Meister, he, he likes being above people, right? Because he, he loves that down air. He likes to, to land with, like, back air and stuff like that. So these up air is really showing to be a problem for him. But, yeah, when you don't have the aerial drift that Game & Watch doesn't have, mm -hmm. like, it, you have to obviously choose to land horizontally or land vertically, and yet he can control both of those spaces expertly. We're seeing it on Pokemon Stadium. Oh, wow. The disadvantage from Meister has been very unfortunate. Is that a bucket throw? I filled it immediately. Okay. Wow, that killed. Okay. Get out of here. I'm actually kind of surprised Yeti, or I'm sorry, Meister, didn't want to save that for an early G stop. Well, it, I don't think it. I don't think it does like that. We saw it earlier. Like that actually happened earlier. It didn't like send it that far. I guess that was just because the percent was high. But that was pellets. No, he also he he, he did a uh, side B uh, bucket earlier. Oh, he did it earlier. Okay, then I missed that opportunity. Okay. Sure. Let me just anti air and do damage and play a safe neutral all at once. Oh man, nice whack. Oh, the mix up right there. That was actually a great option. Not going for anything that could be reflected. Yeah, when you when you don't throw out the loot shield yet, it's not a projectile. So great mix up getting in the face. Oh, oh and the, the confirm! confirm yeah. Metal blade the back air. Big two stock here yeah. for Yeti. He yeah. looks confident in this matchup. Yeah, this is looking like Josh, you raised a monster. <laughs> he cuts the grass, ladies and gentlemen. He rakes the leaves. That's that's Yeti in a nutshell. Oh, man. He's here for the Twitch clips. <laughs> if he wins, it's just an afterthought. Oh. Hey, Meister is thinking about a different character. Oh, there I <laughs> So, Meister was telling me that if he ran into a matchup that was particularly poor, like Yoshi, because he called, I talked to him after Ignition on Wednesday, uh -huh. and he said the one matchup that Game & Watch confidently loses is Yoshi. Wow. And he was going to go Pichu if he ran into a Yoshi. So, I'm led to believe by that statement that Meister has some secondaries. Yeah. Just, I think maybe character pride might be on the line in this particular situation. Thinking Game & Watch can get this done. Let me see these combos go, and look at this extension. Great damage coming out from the Game & Watch. Wow, oh, man. Meister off to a much better start this game. The Bacon Edge Guards? Okay. Save the jump. You're gonna see the back here? Oh, almost getting that. The reflect! But the bait of the reflect! <laughs> he finally got that. He's been going for that the whole set. And I don't think I don't think that he got it at all. Yet he was ready for it. Yeah. Okay. Get up attack is just such a better option in this yeah, game. It's, it's actually really good. It is not the Smash 4 get up attack where you just kinda do nothing and then eat a forward smash. Yeah. Especially for any character that isn't Diddy Call. Yep. Uh oh, wow, it's kind of go for like a fourth throw or something there. I don't think that dash attack is intentional. Mm. That had to be a slip up. Oh. Okay. I want to say he had no jump. I think his jump, I don't know if he touched the ground before he got hit that way, so he just had up B and air dodge. Mm. Tried his best to make it back, but all of a sudden, Meister running, starting to work on something in this game. Not running away with it yet, but close. So there's a sour hit on that? Foda? Mega Man, yeah. 
I didn't know that. That makes more sense now that it kills because it has a sour hit. But back air is going to be the, uh, the kill option to sure to close this gap for Yeti. Alright, so... Uh, Meister looking way better. He, yeah, he's trying to <laughs> seal out this stock. He just done a lot of moves. All right, that's good damage and good corner pressure. Remember, okay, the key is finally finding timings where there aren't any up airs to just ruin its day. Uh oh, wow, the down air to four there. Oh, he's oh! gonna read that. What a read from Yeti. He was all over this man, but not enough to KO. Just he's barely to turn stuck around right now. Almost getting that. And looking for something just insane, I think, with that forward smash. That's the Yeti factor. It's just like sometimes he just knows exactly what your plan is and just knows exactly how to kill you for it. All right, Reflect Leaf Shield. Bucket should kill. Yes, okay. it doesn't matter if it's pellets or anything. In that spot, you just do it. And despite getting red to infinity, Meister's still alive, and that could lead to a lap on this stock. Oh, trying to go for the empty hop right there. That up B to up air is so good. It's a great get out of jail card. Like, if you're feeling pressure, you just press it. Yeah. And then with a platform to mix up your landing, it's easy. Exactly. But Yeti not going to go down without a fight. And this time, he waits for the up B. Uh-oh. Yeti's yeah, up air starting a quick 18%. All right, one bucket in play. Full. Just gonna go for the bait on the platform landing, I think. Doesn't even care about the bucket this time. The leaf shield damage is worth. Invulnerability frames on those landings are great. Oh, wow, I'm that, that clank with the pellet. All right. <laughs> you see the, the duality of man in this bucket currently in this game. Great timing on the rush, just sneaking right by. Okay. Trading blows, but Meister's still on the better end of this game. That was super scary because both the chair and the up smash would have killed, but yeah, he just barely dodged both. Oh, wow. The, he, he can duck that, I guess. He just uh, didn't think of it until yeah. game four? That actually might change the dynamic of the entire matchup yeah, in that I game five. I actually game watch has a low profile, too. He's going for these down tilts. Down tilt is quite laggy, but it will KO. Oh, yeah. And has Meister got it in him to finish up the stock? Dash attack's not enough. Yes! <laughs> Gets it done, and we will have a game five in Winter's Finals. Dude, it zoomed in, <laughs> and it showed that Mega Man did not get hit by that move, but... Every single Game & Watch zoom in KO looks silly as all heck. Man, if you that's... see, like, his... We watch a lot of Josh King at Ignite, and he always gets those kills with a down tilt in the very last situations, and Game Watch is just like, surprise! Here's a pizza! Yeah. So it's, right it's a manhole cover, but it'll, he's just handing a pizza to you. He's like, did you order sausage? <laughs> I'm not being quizzed on the name of Game Watch's down smash right now. You get out of here. Exterminator! Oh. <laughs> Are there rats in the animation? Or does he just do it? All right. I know nothing about. I don't know if you heard Pooch. Games. I don't know if they phoned Pooch in, but that was a really, really random fact. And all the names of all of the moves, every single normal attack has a name in the strategy guide, which is so silly. But it's a great tradition that I hope Smash Brothers maintains until Smash 2078. However many Smash games they're gonna make, yeah. they just print money. You might as well make them until the apocalypse. Might as well. Alright, so... This time, uh, Yeti off to a decent start. It seems like whoever gets a good okay, start is calm the down. That, that wins uh, the game. But back on Kallus, I feel like we already played a game here. I might be wrong. I'm not sure if it was this set, but uh, I, I don't even know anymore. Alright, easy damage. That's just that's so much. It's like 30 off of a jab. <laughs> oh wow, trying to go for that down air and the Woo! nine. Barely missing. And he does that to reset the nine. We I'll... 
haven't really seen many judgment attempts. Yeah. In this set, yeah. yeah. So in this game, can you get the same second one in a row? No, I was, I was just, uh, talking to Josh King about the reason why he did the nine and then he did another hammer because you can't get two numbers in, in a row. The you, same number in a row. You could get two in a row in Smash Four, so that's definitely a change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks so silly. Neutral, ladies and gentlemen. Neutral. Oh, that forward air. Definitely not for the kill yet. Next right one now. should KO. Yes. There it is. There you go. I tell Yeti. In the first stock this time. Meister's been in the spot before. Down a stock. <laughs> in a game five where he could lose his first set in his Midwest trip. Yeti, of course, a, fan, a fantastically formidable uh -oh. opponent. Oh, baby. What are you doing? One of the most technical players you'll ever see. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure he did. Did he invent that tech? The, uh, the pellet re replay stuff? The uh, shield stuff? I, don't, I think he might have invented this particular application of it, not the, not the infinite. Well, the, yeah, infinite not the infinite goes to yeah. Izaw and BP Smash dudes, yeah. but this particular tech is, is all Yeti. Yeah. I am. According to Josh from yeah. Minnesota, again, my source on all things in Minnesota, uh, a lot of people in Minnesota picked up Mega Man because of this adaptation that has been figured out. And just like, kind of an easy bake neutral, and I don't, I'm gonna say that like disrespectfully, but just, yeah. it's, that's what it it's is. Good. You yeah, don't have to commit, so you can do 30%. It's easy. All right. Meister not going down without a fight here. But the mix up on the platform really oh. helping Yeti out in the disadvantage. No shield poke. That's this, a scary tool. This is definitely not looking great for Meister right now. Now three slots to one. So Meister needs to get this kill with like down tilt or forward tilt or something on committal. Get the third hit in the bucket and then go for crazy because you have a forward smash in there. It's not a very charged forward smash. All right, yeah. you got the first step. I think you'll kill at like 50 or so, but all right, Yeti just wants to end it now. So we might see a lot of these leaf shields coming. All right, still going for broke. I love these just haymakers going back and forth between these two. Yeah. You don't really think of Game & Watch versus Mega Man as a haymaker matchup. Oh, but now your oh, trump card's yeah. gone. Yeah, I think that was important. And when Yeti. you're at 100% is Game & Watch. Yes, it's important. Yeah, I think. Uh -oh. Ooh! Is that a kill? Wow. Maybe he still has some life left, folks. Jab lock forward smash. We haven't seen that this whole set. Ooh. And are we going to see the same thing that happened the last set? This My is third. so close. All right, looking for a big read. Uh -oh. And this is going to be down through judgment, but okay, two. Skating by. And that will here? do it. That's Meister falls. It. The unstoppable force prevails, and it is Yeti making grand finals winner's side of yet another tournament. Meister falling for the very first time in the Midwest. History has been made here today, folks. Yeah, that was just a super solid set from both players, but Yeti just at the end, he did, he did not, <clears throat> he didn't allow Meister to get that momentum. You see how many thing. tricks Game & Watch has in his book. Dude, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy.